kiddos, what we are going to do today is we are going to um, talk about similes and metaphors. So what um, we've been working on is context clues. And we know that we, when we come to the meaning of a word that we don't know, we can read a little bit above, a little bit below, highlight clues, and think about what I know. Well, this same strategy applies to when we come to phrases that we don't know. Oftentimes, these phrases are forms of figurative language. Figurative language is when the author chooses to use things such as similes, metaphors, hyperboles, um, idioms, personification in their writing to make comparisons, to exaggerate, or to kind of be descriptive about something. Um, so two comparisons that an author can use in their writing are similes and metaphors. They are very similar. There's only one thing that separates them. So instead of me writing, Meg and I are best friends, I could write Meg and I are like two peas in a pod. Well, two peas in a pod, they're right next to each other all the time. They're inseparable, right? So we are like. When we use a simile, we use the words like or as to make a comparison, okay? So instead of saying, I was so happy to pass my test, passing my test was like winning the lottery, okay? So instead of saying, I was excited, because we would all be excited about winning the lottery, right? We'd be happy about that. We're comparing the happiness of passing our tests to the happiness of winning the lottery, okay? Instead of saying Max ran fast, we could say Max ran as fast as a flash of lightning. Now, we know flashes of lightning, what are they? Boom, click and gone, right? They're fast. So Max was as fast as a flash of lightning. That's telling us how quick he was, okay? Comparing how fast he ran to how fast the lightning flashes. Instead of saying my teacher is sweet, we could say my teacher is as sweet as pie, okay? So we are saying my teacher is sweet, just as sweet as pie is. So we're comparing how sweet the teacher is to how sweet pie is. These are comparisons using like or as to show us something. Now metaphors are very same, are very similar. The only thing that's different is that they do not use like or as. So instead of writing my room is a mess, I would write my room is a pigsty. I wouldn't say my room is like a pigsty, that would be a simile. I make the comparison without using like or as. So instead of saying my classmates can be crazy sometimes, I would say my classmates are a bunch of wild animals, okay? If it were a simile, it would say my classmates are like a bunch of wild animals, but I'm saying they are a bunch of wild animals. So I'm comparing how crazy my classmates can be to how crazy wild animals are, okay? Instead of saying Sally is a sweet girl, I can say Sally is a little angel. I'm not saying Sally is like a little angel. I'm saying she is a little angel, okay? Um, and so we're comparing how good or sweet Sally is to that of an angel. Um, if I say you're in trouble, you're toast. I'm not saying you're like toast, like you're burnt, you're done, you're finished, right? You're toast, okay? And you are, that's what this R-E right here is, you're are toast. So you're noticing how kiddos is going to say you are or you, like she is a... Okay, you're going to use R or A usually. She had locks of gold. So instead of saying her hair was like locks of gold, we're saying she had locks of gold. Um, so metaphors are going to have no like or as. Similes are going to use like or as, but they are both comparisons. Okay? All right, kiddos, if you need any, if you need any help with similes or metaphors today, um, reach out and let me know. And I can't wait to see the awesome comparisons you um, recognize or you make.